We are making a difference. 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 My name's Janet Jameson, and I'm the research chair in the Department of Health Sciences and Community Services at Red River College. We think of uh, the science of early child development, and this was coined by one of our international partners. It's the why that helps you do the how so much better. So all over the world, people are implementing all different kinds of interventions. If they understand why early brain development is important, if they understand why nurturing care is just as important as nutrition, uh, or equally important, in, in supporting children's optimal development, then they'll implement their programs that much better. Prenatal development and early child development is incredibly important, and it's because of early brain development. Our brains are sensitive, they're immature at birth, and what happens is that through relationships, through caring, and through through sensitive care, through responsive care and stimulation, uh, the everyday kinds of things that parents and caregivers do with their children, their brains are nurtured. So just as our body needs nourishment, so do our brains, because what happens then sets a strong or fragile foundation for what's to follow and really is the foundation for our whole lives. We are partnered with the University of Toronto and the Aga Khan Development Network in the development of science of early child development. From the beginning, there was quite a bit of interest in this internationally. We also knew at the same time, because we were doing other international work, that while it's really difficult to uh, have access to print materials and textbooks and that kind of thing internationally and they go out of date, the world was becoming wired very quickly. So that's one of the reasons we made this online. We made it media rich so it would be engaging and we made it so that it could be updated easily as new science emerges. So we've been able to be make this resource that not only kind of integrates the newest research and thinking about what it takes to support uh, population health and the importance of the early years, but with a really international context. And we've also been able to develop it in a way that it's equally relevant to different sectors such as health, education, even entrepreneurial and rural development and other groups. We're making a difference by having produced a tool that helps people understand the long reach of early child development. So it's a multimedia resource. It's online and it's offline, and it's developed at the point of a course, at the point of uh, five and a half day training sessions, and also as a parent resource kit. So it's being used by different kinds of audiences. Um, and they can be teachers, they can be healthcare providers, they can be medical people, they can be, we are working with a group who's uh, working with uh, children affected by HIV AIDS in uh, Eastern Africa and it's being translated into different languages. Understanding of the importance of the prenatal period and the early years, especially under the age of three, is so much better developed all over the world. Uh, than it was, say, a decade ago, or certainly than two decades ago. And people are aware that if you really want to support uh, maternal newborn health, you have to think of what happens after birth as well. People all over the world who have had a chance to take the Science of ECD course have been exposed to some of the very best researchers globally and are seeing examples of great programs of children and families done in contexts such as their own. So that in that way, we're narrowing the gap between research and practice. There's more than 200 million in the children in the world who survive but don't thrive. And our material is all about um, supporting children to thrive. Once you understand the evidence of the importance of the early years, it makes a huge difference. And a lot of this evidence is being developed and communicated coming out of Canada. So I think we have a very important role to play in that way. And I think it's something that the average Canadian should be quite proud of. I am Janet Jameson, and the Science of Early Child Development team is making a difference.